hey hey so it is a meal prep day today um i do my meal prep every single sunday um just so then because obviously it's my last check in check in of the week if there's any changes uh to food i could do it then for the whole week um so yeah so i'm gonna attempt to record a whole food prep video um you'll have to excuse the noise of the washing machine um but yeah i just thought well it's my client actually that suggested me doing this video so we'll see how it goes i may or may not post it but we'll see okay guys so this is all the food that i need to last me the entire week so it's not that much to be fair it's just a mainly a lot of meat but yeah so i always start with writing down on my phone um just so i can keep track of what i need um in each like meal just so i don't get confused or like lost so yeah okay guys so we're gonna start with i've just washed all the chicken um so we're gonna cut all this like gunky stuff off because who wants gunky stuff on their chicken not me um so our first lot i'll start from the top of the list so I'll just weigh out 100 grams of chicken. That's one portion. I weigh it out before, so it just makes it easier when I'm like tubbing it on. Um, but I don't really have to think about it once it's cooked. Um, um, yeah, it just makes life so much easier. Um, if you just like weigh it out in the portions already oh God. this is why I hate chicken because I always feel like you lose like half the actual like meat by the time you've cut all like the disgusting stuff off it's too much okay so that is my training day portions for my chicken um i'm gonna put them on two separate ones just so it's easier to know which one's for which so we're now gonna do my rest day chicken which is 120 um, per portion oh, my God. so this is training day portion this is rest day portion if you have a look how much is still like left but it's all like the gooey stuff um so i've had to buy like another packet here which i've half opened so i'll either give that to chris or just freeze it um but yeah i'm just going to season it quickly now with this nando's um i use a whole packet for all of it so it's not that many like extra carbs added to it um, but this obviously will be pulled like closer to show day. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna do is my rice. So I always do like my chicken first because that's the thing like if I have to cut everything else, it's pretty easy. So I'm gonna do three thirty of this. This will like equivalent to like eleven of my meals. And so a lot of my like rice portions are 30 grams. Okay. Okay, so now that is going to cook. Um, rice cooker, I 100% recommend. Um, probably like a lifesaver. Okay, so after I have prepped my rice and chicken, move on to the veg. Doing 500 grams, 100 grams in each one. So, probably like the hardest bit. There we go. One like eight. Oh my god. Three, 
Okay. So I'm just going to go give this a little wash now. Okay, so now that my veg is on, I'll move on to mince. And then we're pretty much done, guys. Um, my meal prep doesn't take that long. Um, I am a lot faster than what I used to be. Okay, so for the mints, we just spray this one cow spray a few times, um, and then that will last for like the whole of the cooking of the mints. Okay, guys, because this whole pack is seven of the day, um, what I'm going to do is. Um, and then all I need is, if I do it on my phone, another 125 more. So, open my other pack. Now that that's on, um, all I'll do now is wait for this to cook um, then I'll start portioning it up and then all I've got to do is one more load of rice um, and that's pretty much it. So this is probably like the longest bit, it's just waiting now for everything to cook um, and then like I said all I've got to wait for after all of this is my rice um, for my second portion um, which I think is 200 grams split between five meals. Um, and then obviously I'll put it all in the boxes and then I've just got to add some tinned tomatoes for like my sauce with my mince meals just because it's really low in carbs so yeah okay so the mince is done what I do is put it all into a tub I'm not sure if it's going to fit into this to be honest but also oh, I try not to spill any more I'm spilling absolutely loads That is seven seven o. So I'm splitting it all between the seven meals. So I will do seven seventy divided by seven, which is one ten, and then do seven seventy take away one ten, and that sort of goes in each each one. nice and easy guys like once you know what you're doing it's really not that that difficult so 
so I keep my training meals and resting meals on like opposite sides of the kitchen just so I don't ever like get confused because at this point in prep I am getting like brain fog like quite bad um so I'll forget like where things are so I'm putting training day over this side and then my rest day over over here okay so for these next meals only the mints nothing else um we usually just put 100 grams of tinned tomatoes because it's only 4 grams of carbs in 100 um, and because obviously I don't have sauce it just makes it less um, less dry um, but still like diet friendly um, I had to get different ones this time because this doesn't have like the chopped tomatoes that I would normally have they only had peeled which is fine, I'm guessing I just have to like mush it up slightly. Okay, so first lot of rice is done. This bowl here does weigh 325 grams. So what I do is I take that off of the total, which is 885. And then I divide that by how many meals? So 11, so 80 gram. And then I'll take the 80 gram off each portion. Okay, so last lot of around 200 grams. We are nearly done, so they are all my training day meal, um, training day rest day meals. I'm um, just waiting for the chicken for this one. I add cucumber to this, um, like fresh when I actually like reheat it, along with um, avocado oil. We've got half of my training ones over here. That is the chicken bee pin. Uh, so we're just gonna add chicken, broccoli, um, and then I would normally have dark chocolate with this meal as well. And my other half of my training day ones, um, we're just waiting for this last portion of rice and that will go in there. So that is all my rest day ones done. Um, I'm just going to do the exact same with my training day chicken. Okay, so it's now time to add my broccoli. Not very strict with this because obviously I know the whole thing already weighs like 500 grams. Um, so I just kind of split it evenly like from the eye <laughs> from just looking at it because it's only veg. It's not like something like very high in carbs. So I'm not like too too bothered um, as long as it all pretty much looks like the same and it doesn't look like there's hardly any in one very steamy I do like my broccoli like very soft as well because obviously because I freeze my meals when I come to like reheat them they've got plenty of water in so they don't go dry or hard um, so yeah Yeah, I just had a massive like lecture with Tegan to say that she needs to meal prep and she needs to eat more. Um, so yeah, this is for you Tegan. My camera is literally going to die any second. So if I don't finish it, all I've got to do is add my rice to my training day meals. Also going to film the outro now quickly. I'm talking very, very fast because it's literally going to turn off any second. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful. I hope this video was useful. It's going to cut off again. Um, but yeah.